Solve the following equation for x. We've got x minus 9 root x plus 20 is equal to 0. This is another what's known as a disguised quadratic. So just writing out we've got x minus 9 root x plus 20 is equal to 0. Now we're going to change this one here to being root x squared. So we haven't changed the meaning because if you use uh, square root something in square, you end up with x minus 9 root x plus 20 is equal to 0. Then we introduce our dummy variable, so let y be equal to square root of x, so that will now become y squared minus 9 times y plus 20 is equal to 0. So again, we can see that this is a disguised quadratic. So the product will be 1 times 20, which is 20. The sum is minus 9, so we want two numbers where the product is 20 and the sum is minus 9. So we've got minus 5 and minus 4. Check, minus 5 times minus 4 does give 20, so it's OK. And minus 5 plus minus 4 does give minus 9. Doesn't matter which way round I write these two. So we take our quadratic, we've got y squared, we split the middle term up to minus 5y, minus 4y, plus 20 is equal to 0. We group these two together here. So we get that y is brackets y minus 5. Bring down the minus sign. And then group these two together. And we get 4 brackets. And then again, we're going to get uh, y minus 5. The sign here changes because when you do a minus times a minus, it goes back to the plus. That's still equal to 0. Now we've got y minus 5 is a common factor, so that now comes out. So you get y minus 5, brackets, y minus 4 is equal to 0. So writing down our factorised disguised quadratic, we're going to say that either y minus 5 is equal to 0, therefore y is equal to 5. But y was equal to the square root of x, so therefore we can say the square root of x is equal to 5. To find x, we need to square it, so we say that x is equal to 25. Or y minus 4 is equal to 0. We get that y is equal to 4. Same idea, square root of x is equal to 4. x will be equal to 16. Therefore, we've got two solutions. x is equal to 16, or x is equal to 25. So this has been a video to show you how we could take a disguised quadratic, make it into a quadratic, and then solve it using the rules of solving quadratics and get some answers. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.